Tonight I am working on a 1995 Buick LeSabre. This engine had spun a couple of rod bearings, was on the verge of spinning a third rod bearing, along with on the verge of spinning a main bearing. The reason for this is somebody had had the old paint off before and severely oversealed it. As you can see, I still have to clean this up. And you can see all the crap that is down in here. This is all bearing material. What happened is some of the silicone got off of the, broke off free of the oil pan, went through the screen, through the oil pump, into the pressure release valve, and ended up starving the engine of oil. What I'm going to demonstrate is the proper way to use gasket sealer. I've already, I've already got the mating surface cleaned and ready. First step, or next step, is to make sure that the gasket here is on the proper orientation. Okay, so all the holes line up properly. Now I did rebuild the oil pump for this engine as it is part of the timing cover. And replacing the oil pump would be extremely expensive. Okay, now, now that I've made sure of which way the gasket has to sit, I will take some gasket sealer. Now we'll spread it on here very, very thin. It does not need a whole lot, just thin coating around on the gasket. Basically all this does is just fill in any imperfections that may be there. There might be a nick in the metal anywhere. But you do not want the sealer oozing out of the gasket area and end up breaking off and getting into the engine as it did before on this engine. Does take a little, long, little longer than just glooping it on, but considering that this will actually protect the engine, it's worth the extra time. As you can see, it may take a little longer than just glooping it on, but it still does not take that long to do. Now, with that side of the gasket done, we can now place it back onto the engine. Oops, I did the wrong side of it, damn it. Okay, well, we'll put it on the timing cover.
line it up with the holes. Okay. Now at this point I will end up doing this side next and then I will attach the timing cover to the engine and then after that we'll do the oil, or the water pump. But that is the proper way to use gasket sealer. As you can see, when I press on here it does not come oozing out anywhere. That's what you want. You do not want it oozing out. And I will upload other videos later. Other tutorial videos. And please check out any other videos I've already uploaded.